Acons are events that come to Roblox for Easter every year. This event holds a lot of excitement throughout the Roblox community because of its nostalgia, free items, adventurous setting, and memories. From the first ever egg hunt back in 2008 to the 2020 egg hunt, we're going to be going from the first ever egg hunt to the most recent where I tell you guys the full history of Roblox egg hunts that we all know and love. The first ever egg hunt was in 2008, but it actually wasn't called an egg hunt. It was called an egg drop. This event lasted 3 days starting on March 20th. This is where a total of 11 eggs randomly dropped from the sky, but they didn't drop from the sky in a designated game like the egg hunts we know today. In fact, eggs randomly dropped from the sky in literally every game in Roblox. But quickly, players found out a way to collect every egg by making an egg funnel to collect every egg much faster despite the egg's unique ways of being collected. The 2010 egg hunt was called Egg Extravaganza. It was about the same as 2008 egg hunt, but this egg hunt started April 2nd where there was a total of 16 eggs that dropped from the sky in every Roblox game, but it was a little bit different. This year, Roblox developers made it where eggs would start dropping during scheduled times only. But there is an issue. The games got overloaded and the egg hunt ended two days after release. Roblox was going to continue with the egg hunt later and gave players a free golden egg beaters necklace as a thanks for being patient while the egg hunt was delayed. Soon the egg hunt continued July 21st with 7 new eggs that brought a total of 23 eggs being able to be collected. It then ended 5 days later. This egg hunt was the first hunt to have Fabergé eggs and items to help you get the eggs more efficiently. But this time, Roblox made a custom place meant for the 2012 egg hunt, so now eggs weren't available in every game and was only available in one game. This one started on April 6th and lasted a total of 11 days. There were a total of 25 eggs this time, with one available in a game called Stoogeville. This event destroyed Roblox's record of amount of people playing at a game at one time, with 9,354 being the previous record, and was then broken with a total of about 20,000 players in a game at one time. That game was a Roblox Easter Egg Hunt 2012. Next year in 2013, Roblox had another egg hunt, but this time, it wasn't an egg drop, it was an actual egg hunt like the ones we know now. This 2013 egg hunt was actually the first game to have teleporters with a total of 6 of them that teleport you to different areas around in the map. This egg had 34 eggs, and some of them hatch into exclusive items. But this one was very unique, and has a lot of OG players that still call this the best egg hunt on Roblox ever. Some call it the best event that ever happened on Roblox. This egg had 3 hidden eggs on the Roblox website, and 6 eggs were awarded for doing things in Roblox Studio. This event also broke many records as being the first game to reach 2 million visits in a week. Next year is the 2014 Acon called Save the Acres. But before this Acon started, on April 1st, Roblox released a fake Acon. This was to make players think that the egg hunt started when really it was all a fool to make them think that the 2014 egg hunt has begun when really it hasn't. Inside the fake egg hunt game was one egg called the Egg of Destiny. This Egg of Destiny is extremely rare and is known as the best egg on Roblox ever given with its pink glow and pink sparkles. This egg hunt started on April 11th and lasted only 12 days and was also the first egg hunt to have a story to go along with the event. This was also the first egg hunt with a map, mainly made out of terrain, and had 34 total eggs with 5 worlds, with the last world being a final boss battle where you had to defeat Rabbit Rabbit. 
This egg hunt also had catalog items to make obtaining the eggs easier. Like last year, the egg hunt had two hidden eggs around the Roblox website. Then in 2015, Roblox made another egg hunt and is now known to be the worst egg hunt ever by many players in this game. There was actually no main game, there was 3 developer made games where you could get a total of 22 eggs. The 3 games where you could get the eggs were in Ripple Minigames, Superbomb Survival, and Twisted Murderer. There wasn't much to this egg hunt, and not many people really enjoyed this egg hunt and was known at the time to be known as the worst egg hunt ever. Next year, Roblox made Egg Hunt 2016, an excellent adventure. This egg hunt started on March 22nd and lasted 11 days. There were also only 26 eggs for this hunt, and this egg hunt looks similar to the 2013 egg hunt and also had a story to it. Adding a story to an egg hunt just made the game more fun and enjoyable, but this time, Roblox wanted to do something different. This time, they did quests with few eggs that respond randomly. This idea of completing quests to get eggs was carried on to different egg hunts later on in the future. Next year in 2017, Roblox ran an egg hunt that would forever shape how egg hunts will be made for many years to come. This egg hunt started April 4th and lasted 20 days and was called Roblox 2017 Egg Hunt, The Lost Eggs. Many players say this is the best egg hunt ever, but at the time of 2017, this was the best egg hunt ever. This game had 9 worlds to explore and collect eggs in. The amount of eggs were 40, with 2 bonus eggs being the admin egg and developer egg. This one was different from the other egg hunts with collecting eggs because now the only way to obtain the Fabergé egg was to collect every egg in the game first. This game also gave a hint to the 2018 Egg Hunt Ready Player 1 event with a teleporter in the game that took you to Lumber Tycoon 2. Inside the game was a secret cave that had the ghost chicken that told you a hint for the grand prize, aka the Dominus Venari. But aside from all of that, in 2017 Egg Hunt, when you collected every egg but one, the Fabric Egg Egg, you will be teleported to the final world. In this world, you have to put every egg on a pedestal around the dying tree, and by putting the eggs on the pedestal, it saves the tree, and the Fabergé egg unlocks for you to obtain. This egg hunt did so well, Roblox extended the hunt by a week. The 2018 egg hunt followed in 2017's footsteps, this egg hunt was called Egg Hunt 2018 The Great Yolk Tales. It started March 28th and lasted 22 days. This was the first egg hunt to have a custom movement as you can see on your screen and is known by 90% of egg hunt players to be the best egg hunt yet. Basically the story in the game goes that the mysterious egg curses Booker's pet raven and this pet raven destroys his library and turns against Booker. What you would have to do is collect all the eggs and save Booker from his pet crow, Amor. And in this game, you would have 6 worlds, but inside the worlds were more worlds. In total, there were 15 worlds. In these 15 worlds, there would be challenges you would have to complete to do in the end, hopefully be able to obtain a total of 49 eggs. This was the first egg hunt to have a currency where you can buy useful things in the shop like an umbrella. Not only would you have to find the eggs, you would also have to find puzzle pieces around the whole game to be able to unlock a bonus world to obtain the 15 egg. As confusing as it sounds, there is a lot of final eggs, but if you play the 2018 egg hunt, you know what I'm talking about. But this egg hunt is not over. The Reddit Player 1 event took place and was also one of the hardest events to complete on Roblox. If you are lucky enough like the player Roku, you would be able to win the Dominus Venari. Only one person can get this Dominus that goes to the first person to complete the Ready Player One event. And like I said, that player was Roku. Next 
Next we have 2019 Egg Hunt, Scrambled in Time. It was very different from other egg hunts, and instead of being able to obtain eggs in one game, you had to obtain them in 42 different games. All in all, this egg hunt sucked, and obtaining the eggs felt like chores for many players if you wanted to collect them all. There were 56 eggs and 14 in the main game. That's including the Eggman egg and the video story. This egg hunt also had a story to it. An unknown player scrambled the timeline and opened up many unsecure worlds, and it would be up to you, the player, to be able to seal the portals and find out what's going on in the center of the eggverse. During the end of the final boss battle, when you finished off the boss, you had a decision. Do you take the Dragon Fabergé egg, or keep it? The good ending gives you the Dragon Fabergé egg, and the bad ending gave you the legendary egg. This feature was disliked, since now you had to defeat the boss twice, which felt odd to do. Last and, well, sadly least, we have the 2020 A count. But before we get into it, Roblox pulled something that they did back in 2014, and that was the April Fool's A count. Basically, that's an egg hunt that's fake that was made to have people believe it was the real 2020 egg hunt, and it wasn't. This worked anger, and a lot. This was very cruel on the developer's side for making what could have been a hub, and instead, they made a fake April Fool's game. The egg in the game took about an hour to get, and when you got it, well, you didn't get it because um, the egg wasn't even obtainable. But after that monstrosity, it's the start of a new decade, and Roblox had to prove themselves of being capable of holding a extremely enjoyable egg hunt. But um, that didn't really happen. There are 48 eggs and 48 games, and sadly, like I said, no hub. This was very disliked by most all players on Roblox, but instead of a hub, they used an eggophone basically like a gear that showed every egg and how to get them and it was actually pretty convenient to have but convenient or not people still weren't happy and this caused roblox to get heavily criticized and developers to get lots of hate especially the ones who did pay to win passes to get the eggs easier the hype for the hunt built up a lot and was expected by most players to be a fun and great egg hunt we thought they all learned from the 2019 Acon and that we all didn't really like it. But sadly, it just wasn't as expected. But we are not done. The same creators of the 15 group who made 2018 Acon, also known as the best Acon to exist, will most likely be creating the 2021 Acon. And the proof is in this video I made. Check it out, there's a link in the description, but before you leave, this video was a month in the making, so please, it would be very well appreciated if you can drop a like and consider subscribing. And that's it, thank you guys so much for watching, and tell me, what is your favorite egg hunt so far?